And now we'll take our little tour of Meansville. Got the church parking here in the bushes. Got the two-story house with the pecan trees around it across the street. And it's a pretty small town. Since the show in 2019, it had 216 people living here. The town was, a, was named after John Means. In uh, 1913, it was uh, incorporated. It says it's not very much to the town here, but what you see right here is it pretty much. That looks like it probably could have been an old fire station back in the day. Oh uh, no, it says uh, bank up top. So. And on the side of the bank, you got Coca Zit. Gotta try and make my way onto the, the sidewalk here from this road, how it drops off. With my easy lock on the bottom. Figured I'd come over here and try to get the old sign. It says Coke is it. All the different colors of the bricks. And across the street here we have looks like what could have been an old restaurant. Try to get another shot of the bank here, different angle. And this was just a little corner store gas station. I'm not sure the name of it. Didn't have anything that I could find on it online or uh, in the city. But it looks like it's been uh, closed down for quite a while now. And also I found out besides the bank being on the far left that this used to be Cochran's grocery store. It was also a gas station and it had a service department in it for oil changes and uh, tires. And this is the old uh, Meansville jail. It was the holding cell. They use it today for storage. And this is the old uh, Florida, Georgia uh, train depot. It was uh, built in 1888 and served up until 1977 when the railroad left uh, Meansville. But now it uh, serves as the city hall and the colors, the yellow and the blue sky and the green all went good together for this day with the pictures. And there's their fire department. They also have a memorial park for all the troops. This was for the sailors here. This is their uh, little park. Just had one basketball goal, no playground. And this is the city from looking into the city. And I couldn't decide if this was a house or a business. 
And this road right here took you back to a uh, old church. I met a preacher uh, in the parking lot I was at. He was telling me that there was an old church at the end of the road and that it had been uh, grown up. So I decided to go down and explore. And as you can see, I got down there. The church is in the background. It's all grown up with kudzu and, kudzu and trees around it. I had a mattress where people are, are dumping their stuff at the end of the road. This was an old house beside the church that had fallen in or burned down. And as you can see, people just uh, throw their mattresses out in the trash. And this is an old church. Uh, I've been seeing this church every time I rode through here, this area. I've always wanted to stop and take some pictures of it. And uh, since, uh, like I said, I noticed it a few years ago when I rode through and the trees are starting to grow up around it. But uh, I was told by the preacher this was the original church before it moved about a half a mile up the road. And uh, it was a church for a while, then it became a, a residential home. And as you can see now, it's just uh, run down, starting to fall in. Uh, people have busted windows out and destroyed in inside of it. But I just like, you know, I like the run down part of it and the grown up and just think about the history of, you know, when the church was built. I can see all the people dressed up coming to church the first day it opened up and and uh, it's probably a busy little area. Uh, the graveyard is across the street from the church and uh, you'll see the pictures in a minute of that. As you can see, I was shooting through the window here. Just think of how many people have walked through that door and looked out those windows. There's the graveyard. Yeah, there's a quiet area out there. So uh, there's a farm right there beside the church. This is the little farm road and that's the pasture. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and the pictures and of Meansville, Georgia. Uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later.